All right, everyone, welcome back to our exploration of VR apps. Today, we're going to be looking at Meta Horizon Workrooms. Let's give it a click. If you don't already have it downloaded on your device, it is free in the Meta Store and free to use as well. Now is probably a good time to tell you, you also need to install the Meta Remote Desktop on your computer, or else a lot of the things I'm going to show you in this video uh, simply will not work for you. So let's click on that, get rid of that window, and just take a quick look around this beautiful virtual workspace. It is very, very beautiful in here. You can hear the birds chirping. If you watch closely, you can see birds, you can see butterflies. It's a very, very beautiful environment to work in. Now, you probably noticed that this desk is a little high. <laughs> this is kind of up to my chest here. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is need to adjust the desk level and show the app where my keyboard is. Now to do that, when you first download and use the app, it's going to prompt you to set the keyboard height and the desk height. But I've already done that, so I need to reset it. So to do a reset, after you've already set it once, click on Settings, Desk, and then Reset. And then it brings you into the real world with this dot matrix here. Now you have to grab it and adjust it to the height of your desk and show it where your keyboard is. To grip it, you simply push in the grip buttons on the controller. Grab hold of it like this. So now I'm gripped onto it with the two things. And lower it to your desk and approximately put your keyboard in the center. Right about there. That's good. Now hit confirm. Now as you can see, my desk actually appears to be more appropriate for my height. And I can see my beautiful environment. And we are ready. The desk height is set. Now, before I go any further, I just have to point this out. I love that clock over there. It's actually correct. The time here, 109, and the time over there, essentially the same, right? Isn't that cool? I just think that's neat. All right, so I know my desk is in here somewhere, but I can't see it because, well, the VR environment is in front of it. That's where you go to the pass-through button. This is your pass-through button. Click it, and you can select immersive mode, desktop pass-through, or desk pass-through, and full pass-through. Full pass-through would just turn on all the cameras on the device, show you my entire office. Immersive mode, which is what we're in now. And then, then desk pass-through. So it, which opens a small window in the VR environment to allow me to see my, ver my physical desk and my keyboard and whatever else I want to bring into the field of view, including my mouse. All right. So now I can use my computer. But wait a minute. I don't have a monitor. So let's do that. Now this is where you need to have the remote desktop app running, the Meta Remote Desktop. If you're a college employee, it is in the app store on your computer. You can simply download it without having to contact IT. And my computer has gone to sleep, so let me bring it back to life. There, so I brought my computer back to life, and now you can see it says computer available. So click on this button here, and there's my computer, so click on that. And there you are, you have your monitor. Now the nice thing here is you can adjust the size of the monitor. You take your, you know what, let's get rid of these controllers. Now, just using your hands, you'll see that there's little laser beams coming out of my wrists, or my thumb, I guess is where they're coming out of. And if you move your little laser beam, I don't know if you can see it very well in the video, but there's a white dot I can move to that little curly brace right there. If you push your thumb and forefinger together and move your hand back and forth like so. I'm not sure you can see it on the video. Let me, let me do it on the other side. You can definitely see it. So I've got the little white dot touching the curly brace up there. I've clicked and I'm holding my thumb and forefinger together. Now just move your arm one way or the other and the computer monitor gets bigger and smaller depending, right? So smaller, bigger. See if we can make it. Let's, let's test the limits. Uh, that's about as big as it gets. But that's pretty big, right? That's a pretty good size monitor right there. I would be happy using that. And let me just type in here. See, I'm using my keyboard. I'm holding down the delete key. Hello, world. There you go. So the keyboard is fully functional with this virtual monitor. And it is pretty zippy. It's There's not a lot of lag when you just use the monitor, when you use the one monitor. Now, I did say when you use the one monitor, right, that implies that you can have 
more than one. So let's shrink this window back down so it's not as big. Because what I'm about to show you, I hope, will blow your mind. There we go. So now, I did say when only one monitor is being used, that you can actually have three total. To get there, click on the computer. Again, to click, you push your thumb and forefinger together. There we go. And click plus. There's my other monitor. See? Here's my original one over here. And here's an iMovie project I'm working on at the moment. But now, wait. There's more. There's another plus button here. Boom. Three monitors now. So I have my three desktop monitors are now in my virtual world. Now, I'm about to tell you something else. I, I'm sitting in my office. I have my computer monitor, my right-hand monitor, and my left-hand monitor. Currently, my left and right-hand monitor are not plugged in to my computer. So my computer shouldn't even know they're there, right? But the, but the remote desktop app knows they were there, so it can bring them into my virtual world. So I have all three monitors to work with. Now, the fun part is if you want, it's just like before, where you can click on that little curly brace. I can make the monitors big, or I can make them small. I think, oops, there we go. This is probably easier with the controllers, but, or I can make them small, see? Now, what if I want this monitor to be in front? Click it. Oops, don't throw it away. What if I want that monitor to be in front? You click it. Click it. Click it. So it pulls whatever monitor you want to be in front. If you don't want this monitor to be here, you want it to be on the right, you simply place it there. You want to see that monitor again? You want this monitor to be on the end? You can just pick it up and move it to there. Pretty neat, huh? There's a lot you can do uh, in here. Now, let's check out the settings tab. You want the, go away. There we go. You want the computer audio to go louder or quieter? Oh, I forgot to tell you, yes. The audio from your computer will come through the MetaQuest device. You have, if you're using a, a, a computer with not great sound, uh, it'll actually put the sound through your Meta and give you much better sound quality. So you can adjust the volume here. You can turn up and down the screen brightness, which is cool. And you can turn this on so that your computer will connect automatically. I usually just leave it off. And you can reset everything. So that's, I think, really neat. Click on that. Let's open the computer button again. If you want to get rid of a monitor, you just simply pick it up, grab it, and drag it. One of them, there we go. There it is. Drag it to the trash, and it's gone. Grab this one, drag it to the trash. Your main monitor you can't put in the trash. That's why it, that one won't go away. But this one will. There, now the main monitor must stay. There you go. So that's how you add more monitors, take the monitors away. Now let's say you want to get completely off of your computer. Just click, disconnect, and it's gone. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and slap that follow button, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in VR. Talk to you soon.